What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my garden markers this year. So the things that you're going to need to do these garden markers are paint sticks. Now I got these paint sticks off of Amazon and I got a box of 100 for about 20 bucks. Now of course I don't need 100 but I figure I'll use them someday. You're going to need paints of course. I'm going to go with the rainbow colors here just to add some color into the garden and maybe attract those bees. I'll also be using a paint pen today. You could also use a Sharpie. And I'm just going to use this plastic plate and a foam brush to paint my paint sticks. Now this is going to be a quick and easy video, so let's get started. Alright guys, so today I'm just going to focus on my herb bed. I already went ahead and painted my garden markers for the rest of my garden. So I'm going to need about eight of these for my herbs. So now, I'm going to start with red here, and I'm going to paint my stick. Now, I'm only going to paint down to here. Most of this is going to go into the ground, so I didn't feel that it was necessary to paint the bottom here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just paint the front. At this point, I'm going to also do the sides and the top. Now, I'm just going to set this down to the side and dry before I flip it over and do the back. Alright guys, now that this side is dry, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and paint the back. Now I'm only going to give this one coat because I don't mind seeing the wood grain or a little bit of the faded wood in the back. But if you want a more solid color, go ahead and put two coats. Now I'm just going to let that dry and in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of my paint sticks. Alright guys, I went ahead and painted the rest of my paint sticks here. So now it's time to label them. I'm going to use this paint pen here with a fine tip. So the first one I'm going to start with is this purple which I've designated to basil. Now this paint pen can be a little splattery especially on this wood. I found out that it's probably necessary to give these a light sanding before using the paint pen. So like I said if you don't have a paint pen go ahead and just use a sharpie. So this one like I said will be basil. Now I'm just going to label one side of these, but feel free to do both if you prefer. Now for this indigo one, that's my lemon thyme. Now I don't have the best handwriting in the world, but at least I'll know what they are. So I'm going to go ahead, finish up my labels here, and I'll show you the next step. Alright guys, so I have all of my garden markers here, all labeled, and I was not going to seal these, but I decided I want these to last as long as possible. I tend to plant the same things over and over every year, so now I'm going to take these outside and I'm going to spray them with a clear coat. Alright guys, so like I said, I am going to go ahead and clear coat these, so I'll be using this Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss that's supposed to be non-yellowing. So I'm just going to give these a quick spray. So now when these dry, I'll flip them over, spread the other side, and once that dries, I'll show you what they look like in the garden. Now here's what it looks like in my garden. And as always, I forgot something, and I left out parsley. 
These colorful little garden markers were super easy to do and really fast and simple and I hope you give them a try. This rainbow of colors will sure to bring the bees into my garden this year. I hope you give this video a try. If you like my video and want to see more of my videos, go down below and hit the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. If you have a question about this video or any of my other videos, or would just like to leave a suggestion for a future upcoming video, leave me a comment. Feel free to share this video across your social medias. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.